Matthew and I looked at several different sturgeons. Together we selected uh, the one that uh, he felt was going to meet his needs, that looked great to him. Uh, and good gosh, the fish was uh, as big as the both of us. Loved watching Matthew, the, the technician, really, as he was examining other pieces. He has a real interest in the, uh, in the offal, in the, uh, in the stomachs, and all the other parts of the fish. Uh, as, as I'll soon relate to you, Matthew wastes nothing, absolutely nothing. As soon as we hit the sieve, though, uh, we, were at a, we were at a precarious point with some of these fish. They were, they were, some of them were beginning to overmature. And as soon as it hit the sieve, it started kind of getting a mudded uh, appearance that is common with a with an egg that's kind of going a little over mature. And I was uh, I was fearful that we might have to go find another fish. But uh, what was really neat about Matthew was he, he was determined that this was his row that was going to be his caviar typical of caviar industry and some of the folks that we had observed and learned from, uh, you sacrifice a little bit of the uh, uh, less than perfect uh, eggs uh, in pursuit of just that optimal. Matthew wasn't happy with that. He wanted again every single one. So quick trip to the restaurant supply for filters, for additional tweezers, for for everything, we had an army of tweezers going on, and I this was going to be spectacular, and indeed it was. We recently got to uh, premiere uh, the caviar that uh, we made together with uh, Chef at Pebble Beach Food and Wine. It it was received exceptionally well, as it should have been, uh, due to his efforts. Uh, I hope due to some of ours as well, but. Uh, very, very, very pleased with that caviar as his uh, chef.